Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're sat in Italy for a good reason. They're going to get an airport. Now I know that Domo here does not actually have an airport but with the scale of our map and the fact that we don't have Milan which would probably be the closest airport to here but with the scale it's not actually too far away. It would be not a million miles to the southeast of us. I think, if my bearings are correct, they might not be. A lot of you have been asking for airports, or at least air traffic anyway. So I thought, could we do it? There isn't a lot of room here. There is a bit of room in Toon though. So I think having one there is a must, as there is one in real life. However, it's more of a field with a few uh, markings on it, as opposed to a real airport. Uh, what would it be, like a municipal airport, I guess? Our trains are busy. We've still got to rework those a little bit. They're way busier than they should be, especially the commuters. Now, we are heading back to Toon, so we'll, we'll sort that out when we head there. But I thought we'll try the hardest one first, the hardest airport to get in. I've got a place for the Toon airport. We'll more than likely have a few others, as they do exist. Interlaken, believe it or not, has, the I think, the biggest airport on the map with two runways. Whether we have one there, I'm not sure. There's possibly a bit of room, but we're going to be gaming it as well. The reason I've chosen Domo and Toon is they're pretty much the furthest apart. It'll be more Utendorf, but it will be Toon's airport. Which kind of works, doesn't it? They're, they tend to be on the outskirts. Today is going to be a lot of bulldozing, a lot of terraforming. I mean, airports in the real world don't just spring up, do they? There's a lot of work that goes in, a lot of planning, and a lot of expense. So I expect the same for us. We do have over 330 million in the bank, though. It best not cost that much. We're going to have to get rid of a lot of this area. We will rework it, though, so that uh, it's all still intact. Now, another thing that happened. Oh, yeah, should we check on these? It is the... Uh, it is the dirt, <laughs> apparently, for these. But anyway, yeah, so when they're dirty, they turn grey. I mean, I'll take it. We'll stick these back on on that, and we can keep an eye on when they look terrible again. Yeah, that didn't look good at all. We unlocked some new coaches. However, there's a slight balancing issue if you're playing the game. Similar to our... And let's go to passenger. Yeah, these are the ones. We do have actual SBB sleepers and i'm guessing the the creator of these they look lovely but i'm guessing he went for a sort of realism sleeping coach has a, a capacity of 10 now if we are these vanilla this one's vanilla is that one vanilla i think so right i don't know about that one i don't think that is but the vanilla ones have 21 i guess for balancing now when transport fever does take the capacity of these you put the actual capacity in and then, well, for Transport Fever 1, it would divide it by 4, somewhere around there. And so this would actually be 4 times that, so 84. In real life, if that is close, then that's how they're still doing it. These are probably a little under as well. I would have maybe liked to have seen that one with a little bit more capacity. However, I mean, 4 times 15, what's that, 60 capacity? It still seems a little low, but they are all first class. The only thing I have with that on a balancing point when you are playing the game and when you want to move people around is that there is no difference. We can't charge them more and they have no preference on what style of carriage they go on. So uh, should the game be different in the future and they actually have sims that prefer to go by first class and it costs more, then it would make sense that there isn't as many spaces on those. So that's the only iffy bit I have with these. It, I don't know where I'd put them. They're kind of going to get in the way, even though they look nice. And we still have to make money, because we're still playing the game. I could go in and edit this file, so it's balanced a little better game-wise. I don't know yet. I've not decided. We may need to do something about these trains, but we'll, we'll save that. I just wanted to bring up that we did unlock some new coaches. They look lovely, though. That's a shame. Maybe we'll just stick them on somewhere. Maybe on the express ones, I'm not sure. They probably would be better on the first class one. I don't know where they actually ran in Switzerland, but they are SBB. Airport. 
This is where I'm thinking we might have to get rid of some of these houses. They will build back. There's not much room here, is there? No, we're kind of crammed in. Uh, we could make use of both of our, well, this bus service and the one that goes through the mountain there as well. So first off, can we get it in without colliding into any of our buildings? I mean, they're a bit high. We're going to have to pause it. We're going to get rid of all of this. We could maybe upgrade that anyway then to a newer road. It's not uh, out of the ordinary to do this, is it, for an airport? Things get shifted around. Stuff gets demolished, especially houses. Now, what we can do, if we bring up the uh, industry layer, we're fortunate this end where I'm feeling the airport could be it's all industry and shopping so if we aim it correctly it should be high enough to not cause too much pollution noise pollution for our residents over there so it's going to be somewhere around here and we need to create a nice flat area to make it easy and ensure we know what we're doing with the rest of it i mean having it at a slight height will help it clear the city easier if we come in and land this side, I'm hoping we clear the mountain up there. I don't know what the AI is going to do. I don't think there's any waypoints you can use either. We're going to have to try this out. I know plenty of you wanted uh, some aircraft in the sky. And to be fair, so did I. I mean, it's just how do we get it to work with our, our current setup? What we need to do, wrong one. What we need to do is get us a flat patch of land where we can possibly get the airport to sit. We don't really want to be lower than that, do we? We maybe want to come from here and flatten it that way. There we go. That was mistakes were made, but we uh, it cost us probably a fortune. I know it looks a bit rough at the moment. But I think we can make it work. See, I don't think we're going to fit. We are going to get rid of some of this river, which is okay because it's not the best of rivers at this point. So if we get rid of that river, that will save us some issues as well possibly up to there we could also make a tunnel couldn't we it look like the river is vanishing off up there we'll try it like this for now and see uh, what the game says now the large airports are very large and we just don't have the room without cutting huge sections of mountain away and demolishing half of the buildings around here it'd just be awkward we'd have to move the factory there so I'm going to say, no, we just can't do it. I think that makes more sense to me because these small airfields, I'm going with this one. This one's a mod. It has at least a concrete uh, taxiway. Uh, the one in the game doesn't. It has some dirt for a taxiway. I prefer this one. I like the, uh, the taxiway. That would be the passenger one. It still has the dirt. But anyway, passenger just here. We do want it like pretty much the same height as that factory as we're going to have to clear it. And as you can see, the factory buildings are quite high but they do kind of take off pretty nippy uh, how are we getting people here we're going to have bus stop we do want to leave room to get the roads around and we want to hopefully miss the housing so we can slide it so that the flight plan does that and thread the needle a little bit with the factory there a little bit risky perhaps we could sink it down maybe a little bit i don't want to go too low like I said, the factory may be an issue. Right, if we go there, I think we can work something. Let's go a bit closer, because we did unlock a new plane, but we can get rid of the uh, the trees here. There we go, get rid of those. We're going straight through there. I hope our pilots are good. That's all I'm saying. That is the way they're going to go, right? I think so. They'll head that way. I'm pretty sure the arrows are facing that way. If not, we'll flip it. But anyway, we can't do anything with this. We can't add more runways oh yeah there we go as we choose the the tracks here it is taking off and landing in the right orientation the one i want anyway what we need to do is get roads and we're going to have uh, i think a big road like this and we're going to put bus lanes on it and that's where we'll run our bus now if we run it from here it should be nice and straight and flat and true if you click that it will be that will work i think that will work as our bus area what we can do is finally extend this line up here. Did we even upgrade these last time out? I don't think we did. No, they're still those old ones. So they'll also get an upgrade. And the the red line that is currently broken, which comes from here and would head up, is going to just go via this section. And we can have the flat section we have here. 
as a junction. It just makes that a whole lot easier. It's going to be these and we'll keep it nice and flat and then we'll make our way down. We could even add another stop, couldn't we then, to our services. Then we can get rid of this. Actually, leave it double lane. It'll be kind of our first double lane road coming down here. Uh, we do want to start heading down. Let's go from here. What happens if we just connect it? It's not actually that bad. If we use Shift N, we can bring that down, smooth it out a little bit, and it's rather beautiful. Do we want it? No, I don't want this bus lane, although it would separate our, our trucks. I definitely don't want traffic lights there, so we'll take those out. Uh, we'll need to do a little bit of smoothing around here. Look like we've done the work. Yeah, that looks better, because otherwise it just looks like it's been plonked in. Now we can use this and get us a, a little edge to the mountain over here. Like we've dug into it, which we have. The weirdness going over here is the paint brush. Bring that in, just give it a bit more of a cliff edge. Bring that round, tidy all this bit up so you can't see what we've done. The, uh, the second airport should be easier, he says. Not entirely convinced at the moment. Uh, we can get rid of that. That's going to all be new road, a new layout. I mean, I feel like it's been a, a long time coming. Getting some, I mean, we need to delete those. Getting some planes in the air. It does just add to it, doesn't it? I like having boats on your map if you've got water. It adds to the scenery. And I'm hoping if we do this right, it might even add to our bank balance. That would be the big thing, wouldn't it? Right, what I would like to do is bring that brush size up. I don't know why we've got all these. I guess strength might do something, but we want to get those trees off the... Uh, the cliff base there doesn't really make much sense. Uh, same here, we'll get rid of those. We can always put our own bushes and stuff in there a little bit later when we're doing the finishing touches. Uh, we're just going to slightly get rid of this weird texturing that's got, not texturing, laddering, stepping that's going on. Now if we bring the strength right down and go for something like that, we might just be able to take it off. There we go. Then we can get the paint tools, get the delete, and we can bring the, the uh, cliff edge back like that. There we go. A little better, isn't it? There, we've got a nice cliff face to fly into. Well, not into. Past. Don't be flying into it. That's a terrible idea. Not what it meant at all. Okay, so we've got this in. We're going to have another road here, just for looks, really. I don't think we're going to use it. Um, but we're going to switch to... Possibly this is the start of our... Of this road. No, we don't want that. Just keep on that. Uh, if we start with that, it makes life a bit easier. So we're coming out here. This is going to be our bypass for, I guess, mostly private traffic. Then we can start heading up. We do want it on curvy now. We'll just head up, back up around the airport. Uh, we're gradually going up, so that's nice. Once we get up to a section where we're going to create a junction, what we'll do is we'll send it flat, because that makes it, like I said, a lot easier. Oh, I missed it a bit. That's fine. There's no fence on this one. I've just got to keep an eye on this this line here, which isn't the easiest to see. We'll go up a little more and we'll try and miss this corner if I can see it. Oh, that should be flat from here. There we go. Now we can go around the back. So we're going to be going over a road and then over over a, uh, a factory with our plane. I mean, going over roads is a thing that happens anyway, so I don't mind that. We're going to get a little steeper here. We're not joining in with this. We're going to make a new join. We're going to go from here and see what that does for us. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah, I'll take that as a, a mountain road. This bit should be relatively flat, flat enough to get a junction on without it looking too terrible, which it is. And then we can head down this way. And then we're going to have like a, another entry. Ooh, I just missed it slightly. I thought I had it there, guys. Too confident. So what are your thoughts on, on aircraft? Oh, what am I trying to build there? Not a one-way street. Did I click on something? Possibly. We want these. What are your thoughts on aircraft for this map? And them being where they're going to be? Let me know. Ever since I've seen people asking for them, I, I've been wanting to get them in. Uh, I hope you all like the end result at the moment. It could be questionable what's happening. Uh, this one, I think this one perfectly goes into town, like here, into the industrial area. It might be a nice place for our trucks to head uh, and skip 
the shenanigans they currently do. Well, that was a pleasant side effect. Now this, if we edit this, can we get rid of this, put a new one in, will it be modern? No, we're going to have to get rid of the lot and there are a bunch of trucks on there, which is a little unfortunate. Put this back in so that we can get our trucks out. That means we can delete this whole section. That can go in there. Then we can delete this and it should dump all the trucks. There we go. There we go. We'll delete that back. Get them out of the way. Build us a new truck depot. Sure, by era. Not that one. By era, this one. We'll just go here. I'm not going to go era C on this one because it might break the game. Did we have... Was it just one side? It was just one side, wasn't it? So we only need... Was it like that? I believe it was. They just turned around, didn't they? which I'll take, and they're all connected, and at least we have a new road then, even if it's not the correct road. You're just going to sit in like that. There we go, that's pleasant. Yes, I'll take that. We might even put a little house or something on there. Streets. Now we can get this in. I like it like that because we only head off that way anyway. And this can then merge into two lanes once we've got to this point. I guess we can go something like that. That's a nightmare of a junction, isn't it? I mean, it almost looks like it wants to be a roundabout, but uh, I don't think it's busy enough to care. Or for me to care, I should say. Yeah, I don't think that's busy enough for me to worry about. What we'll do is we'll add another road just here. This will not have traffic lights, but it's just going to be another way into this road. Hopefully it doesn't look too terrible. There's a bit of a bump there now, isn't there? What we should do is just level that out a touch. It never really does the best job. They've tried, but it still doesn't make a nice, neat, flat junction or a slopey one either. I mean, a lot of junctions are, are sloped anyway, aren't they? They are in the UK at, at least, and I know there are plenty in the US where they're like sidewards. Uh, what are you doing? Deleting is not what you want. You just want to smooth our construction out of touch we may have some hills in here and uh, some other scenery i feel like heading down to here if we can make it uh, will give us another bus stop for our our route feel like it might be a little on the steep side so we might have to use that possibly i'm not sure yet it looks lovely though now we should use city streets for this and let them build there we'll also lock it so they don't try anything crazy uh, if we go something like that, can we make our way down just a little bit and hug in? Come on, don't, 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 don't. You can fit in there. Don't have to come somewhere like that. I mean, it's not ideal, but it does go up pleasantly, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's not too bad at all. You know what? I'll take it. Then what we could do is head this way, have another stop here, and maybe here for the other line. We could have a shuttle. A change of plan. We can have the uh, the mountain one stop here because it goes past anyway. Um, but we could have like a little airport shuttle that runs there. Now, trams are an idea. However, we do have trams in a lot of our cities. And I don't think... Oh, what are you building there? And I don't think we need one here. I would like to get rid of the, uh, the bus stop there. No, get rid of the bus. Not the bus stop, the bus lanes. There we go. Um, we're going to get rid of the traffic lights just here and there. These are not needed. Um, we'll leave them at the bottom because we're coming down to a different lane. We're going to leave them here, obviously. Things could go very wrong there. But for this section, we're also going to get rid of the bus lanes, I think. I don't like them there. There we go. There, yes. I like that. That should work for us. And then we can stick a couple of bus stops here for our new shuttle service as well as where we can divert our mountain bus service we'll get into the buildings i guess near the the actual airport building would be ideal all right it's got the right name wind socks are a blowing all in the same direction that's handy <laughs> otherwise it could be a cyclone are we good are we good where's our little shuttle gonna stop i guess here looks like another good place for one. Oh yes before we do let's lock the roads i don't want to create anything well i don't want the ai to create anything we're gonna lock all of these now at least this does stop them building roads it doesn't stop them building houses which i don't mind i don't mind that they're gonna build some houses out here if they do 
but we'll just lock all these anyway. Don't build anything around here. This is all airport territory. I don't know what you're doing here, but I guess I'll take it. Right then, that's fine. Now this is our mountain bus, so we'll get this. Manage the line. They pass through here anyway, apparently. No, that's, that's your trucks. Your trucks skip over there. Very bizarre, but uh, we'll take it, I guess. Uh, so after, what is this called? High Street. We don't really want that called High, High Street, do we? We want uh, airport. I just, just airport stop would do. I mean, it's not going to stop at any other airport, is it? Or is it because you don't know how to spell Domo? Or I think you, you chickened out there, didn't you? Let's see. Domo Medosola. Am I right? I'll be surprised if I'm right. Well, we'll find out when we add it. Right, let's go back in. Doma, I think I got it right. Go me. Let's add a station. I don't know what Kingsway is. Is that this thing up here? Yeah, it is. They're called two different things, confusingly. Where's our bus? Down here. So after Kingsway, we want to go there. And then after the sidings, which should be the train station. I need to name some of these. We'll go via there. We skip up that way. That's That's fine. A lot of the uh, private cars might go that way. It's a shame our trucks use that. Oh, one of our trucks is branched off here now. Look at that. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, we'll split that, uh, split that freight a little bit. Oh, I do like that. Should we add us a little shuttle service? It's just going to be, I think, running backwards and forwards going this way round. And then it can head up there. It'll be very direct. And then come down and I guess head this way. I guess it can go back that way and head down like that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So it'll have a few stops on the way. Normally a shuttle would be pretty direct, wouldn't it? But I feel like we could take advantage of... Or... No, I like that. Do I? <laughs> I don't know now. They could build out here though, couldn't they? There's a possibility for us to change this to uh, streets we could change it to these maybe and see if they build out here I, I sort of like that idea I wouldn't mind a few commercial buildings out this way so should we have the the shuttle direct we're going to be sharing a lot of the same stops over here but the frequency shouldn't be an issue for us especially this one the mountain one we're going to have the shuttle direct airport shuttle direct that makes more sense to me. It makes more sense in a real world sense, perhaps. So you're gonna go from here straight to whichever one you feel is necessary. Then you do a little loop and head back. Yeah, it'll probably be free as well, part of your flight. So I like that. I don't know what color our airplanes and stuff are gonna be, so we'll, we'll make it white. And do you know what? Uh, can we call this train station? Or just station. Uh, train station makes more sense. There we go. There we go. That just makes more sense when I'm typing it in. So this line one is going to be the uh, airport shuttle. Gotcha. We're in. And like I said, we could maybe have this as a tram at some point. Maybe. I don't know. I think a bus will just be fine for it. I don't know how many people are going to use it. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, we could then... Oh, before you forget, let's upgrade these to uh, modern buses because I did miss them. Ooh, don't clone them all. We could afford it, but it's unnecessary. There we go. We've, uh, we've upgraded the condition of them all as well. A lovely yellow service. Now, instead of going here, I'd like to get rid of that. And instead, I want you to stop up there. So we're going to get our bus here, manage vehicle. So you stop there, then you're going to stop here and share the shuttle service and the, the mountain service. I know it might get a bit busy, but given the frequency of aeroplanes and the capacity, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. What have you done? You're supposed to edit the line. I would like you, which one can't be connected? Which one doesn't exist anymore? It's North Road. Doesn't have a, whatchamacallit. Terminus. Terminal. <laughs> there we go. You got there in the end. So I'd like this to go here. And then we're going to come around this way. I don't want you to stop anywhere around here. 
what I want you to do is just turn around up here, do the same as what the other one's doing, go via the airport, there we go, like that, and then we'll add another stop just here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you can tell I've not thoroughly thought this through. However, that's kind of working for me, given where our other buses stop. We could even send it round here if we wanted. Do you know, we could send it here and possibly... Oh, yeah, here and here. We'll move that one. Get rid of this one. Yep, you're not going to be happy just yet. Pick this, manage the line, get rid of York Road. So after the airport the second time, what are you doing there? Are you doing a loop? I think we might have to put a little waypoint for you. What is that, the airport? Oh, it's using the same one twice. Uh, you don't want that. You want to be there. There we go. That's nice and tidy. That's nice and tidy. And we've extended this line. It's it has a little more use to it now. After the airport, you want to stop here. And then you want to stop. Did I delete the wrong one? No, you're, you're getting confused. Then you want to stop here and here. And then we wiggle our way back round. So far, so good. Is that looking right? Seven's in completely the wrong place now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, seven shouldn't be in there. Six should be in there. That should be... How have, what have I done here? Seven. Get rid of seven a second. Four, five, six. Seven should be up here. But it, it, I've, I've inserted again, haven't I? I made a right meal of this. It's all right. We'll fix it. Six, seven, eight. Oh, right. Then we'll just draw it all the way back through here. So we were missing a stop there. There we go. So after here, we can just correct it all. It'll be much nicer. And which way are we going round? This way. Is that right? Is that right? Yes. Yes, I got confuzzled. It doesn't take much, let's face it. Okay. There's a whole sprawl of new things going on down here, isn't there? Is it all going to turn out nice? I don't know. We'll find out. Should we see if we can get the other airport in? We haven't got long left in the episode. It is going here. And we can draw our new fields on the other side of the airport. And that will make a lot of sense. So we're just going to have a normal road here. Oh, do you know what we need to do? I'm going to save it. Because we know what happened once upon a time. All right, all saved. Let's, uh, no, you can't do it yet. Let's configure this. It is all one station. And we'll go back to our MISC. We're not going to have any fancy station building. It's still small, and it's not going to be a massive airport either. And so we have that in. And now we can get, as uh, guess, a road like this would do. A city road makes sort of sense to connect to. For the pavement, if nothing else. And then... Do you know, this road has a needless lump in it still. I'm going to take this back. And we're going to make a place where we can have a junction up here. Just so it's got a connection via road. Hey, maybe one day... Maybe one day Urban will add us something such as, I don't know, a park and ride sort of ability where... People can take their cars partially on a journey and then they use the park and ride service to park at, which will open us up to having lovely parking lots as well everywhere that you could use. At stations, it could affect capacity. I mean, at that point, you could get really crazy with the amount of things you can get going with the cities to make them realistic. Right, smooth all this off. It should look a little better as well. I'm not going to do too much smoothing as I smooth the world. Uh, but we are going to have to do quite a bit because we've got to fit our airport in. So this should be slightly raised up compared to this. Or roughly the same as that piece of track. But as you can see here, we do have a lot of room to add a massive airport. I just don't know how it's going to look. We do have the room. It will be a squeeze. But we definitely have the room, don't we? Yeah, we could even raise it up. I don't like it raised up like that. I'd prefer it down here uh, if we can connect. It's just way too close, that end. Maybe we could uh, rework it a little bit. This section of road here. 
just take that out. I mean, we can still get the connection. I'm still not sure on the large airport. It might be a small one because we're not going to be able to use the large planes anyway. Do you know what? For our first instance, since we don't have an airport at all, I say we go with the, the small one like we've got in Italy because this to me would be a good test on whether this will be profitable because if it's not profitable, we're in a bit of trouble. And then we know we've roughly got the room. We might just have to adjust it a little bit, perhaps a bigger road. But that, that squeezes in quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. I don't like what's going on here, though. It looks a bit silly. So we'll flatten that out a touch. We'll get this one, put the strength up. And we'll just flatten this out here and create like a, a little wall. We're going to run down with the road anyway. And we'll do the same over here. We're going to give it kind of a a quarry look could even be something abandoned we'll straighten this out as well and then we'll smooth it out a touch there we go like that then we can get this and that we can just go around and make sure that the blockiness is gone use that one for the fields we're going to redraw the fields and we're not going to have it like this here now can we redraw this road that would be key that was a bit quicker wasn't it by about a million percent we can run up like that will you connect up without uh, messing up anything you will get you all nice and smooth like we've planned it and built it okay i like this little area we've got probably don't need that there bring that down i like this face here i don't like it up here feel like this would be a bit more settled now i want to do something with that junction it's a bit too roller coastery which we will do. Right, paint tools very quickly. Not that big. I'm going to switch it over to this. We're just going to get rid of some of this corn by deleting what's there. Or all of this corn, I should say. Don't worry. There'll be something here. It will maybe be trees, though. Bushes to uh, block some of the sound. Just give that an edge. Most of this is going to be going and replaced with my uh, new style fields. Get rid of that as well. It's looking the part, not like we plowed through a farmer's field, which is pretty much what we did. It's our field now. We brought the rights though. Build here. Let's give this a bit of an edge. There we go. How's it looking? Nice. Not really, but better. Get rid of that. I think it's because I had that selected. Can't delete that. What's going on? It might be because the airport's there. I don't want to hold shift because it more than likely will delete the actual uh, runway. I can't remember whether it does or not. There we go. Tidy. Is that better? It's a little tidier. Still some stray stray wheat, is it? I think it might actually be wheat. The green stuff's the corn, isn't it? That's the corn. That'd have been wheat. Right, anyway. Okay, no detail in today because that took an eternity. Not surprised though. We should be connected though. We've got a connection here. And was that the uh, uh, the tower talking there? It's a bit of a journey. We might make a bit of money on this. And I believe we're connected here, right? I think so. Yeah, we've got a good connection. People won't mind walking either. And they'll definitely not mind crossing over with trains if they want to take it this way. Now we've got an active road here. Obviously, it needs a little bit of tidying up. Oh, uh, which is this? We want the train. Just tidy that up a touch. Just along here. That bit's fine. That bit's fine. I don't want to get rid of that cliff face, if possible. Get rid of that colouring a little bit. And tidy the road up. We should have the connection right for the road. Yes, we do. You know how we're going to end today's episode? Absolutely. With a, uh, a plane ride. There won't be anybody on board. Not the first one, so for the inaugural flight, it's just us, our plane, we get to go on it first. We go. I still need to do that one. I'll probably do that one off camera though, it's a bit fiddly, and needlessly fiddly. Beautiful, right, we have everything. New line then guys, are you ready for aircraft? We're going from Italy to, I guess that's what it is, isn't it? Italy to Switzerland. That's kind of cool. New line. I don't know what colour our planes are going to be. White, I guess. White and red. 
Swiss Air, is that their colours? Is that a thing? I don't know. We'll have it white uh, to match the bus shuttle. Okay, it looks like it's going to work. But that, that goes up pretty steep, doesn't it? I mean, we'll have to uh, take a ride on it, obviously. But we should get a nice view of the map. What is this? This is... Uh, yeah, I guess you would do it like this, wouldn't you? Domo. Do, would you? Yeah, you would. You'd do it to the airports, not the country, right? It's going to be Toon, though, even though it's Utendorf. Because on our map, Utendorf is a... Is it Utendorf? Yes, Utendorf is a suburb of Toon rather than a city or a town. Because we just all squished together. We didn't get to do... Um, I've lost it now. Where is it? It begins with a D, Gran, and they're in alphabetical order. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Or you can just click plane, because there's only one of them. There we go. I just wanted to make sure we've got everything. Perfect. Okay, let's go over here. Get us a new plane. We don't have many planes to choose from. We'll hit play. There's no rush. And buy vehicle. Passenger. I think these, one of these little planes, the Pilates. I'm going to forever call it that. Ooh, that one's red and white. Maybe we should go with that one. Uh, what's the capacity of these? Ten people, seven people. These things don't have many, do they? But I feel like they'll serve as well on the map. So, and they only cost 900k. And only 100k to run. I mean, not many people are going to get on. Should we do it? Should we put one of these on? And then we'll put it on our only line. And here we go, guys. Our first plane is coming out the hangar. Is this a mod? It might be. It's a German plane. I mean, you're not too far from home. Ooh, that made me panic. My heart sank that that... <laughs> and mind you, we just did a lot of bulldozing, so there's a lot of AI repathing. So, moment of truth. Should we get on board and see that we can thread the needle? <laughs> or the... Uh... Can we? I'm a little worried. We've got to get through that factory at the end, and then I'll leave you with a bit of a flight over our map for the first time. I've got some ideas, since we're looking that way to the southern edge of the map, to build us a little hill at the edge of the map, so when we do our cab rides again, um, you can't see the edge of the table, as it were. I think that'll be better. I hope one day we have, like, a... A fake map that goes off in the distance that kind of just mirrors itself like a lot of games do. Okay, here we go. Takeoff time. I think these take off fairly early anyway. Or not. Oh no, there we go. We're, we're, we're already up. I don't know the technical terms for it. Oh, we clear that by a mile. The faster planes, bigger, slightly bigger small planes might uh, have a bigger bit of trouble. I hope our pilot's good. He's got a lot of navigating to do through these mountain ranges. Through the Alps. It has a name. The, the name of the series, in fact. Oh, is it, do you know, it's lovely to see all the things I forgot about. <laughs> that need possibly updating. Or just tidying up a little bit. Yeah, I like this. Well, thanks for watching. The difference in speed building of the uh, Italian Adomo's airport and Toon's airport. That's why I did it that way, that way around, because I knew that uh, squeezing in an airport in Italy was going to be a big problem for us. But we got there. Let me know in the comments if you like the planes uh, being on the map. I do. I think it adds to the scenery, uh, especially if we take a, a cab ride. On some of our trains, I will do some videos on those soon. Uh, we can even have one of these. It's lovely up here, isn't it? Thanks for watching again. And what are we doing when we come back then? Yes, we've got to sort out our frequencies, haven't we, and our commuter lines. We will do that. Done. Alright guys, and until next time, take care.